Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. This is Muffins here, and today we're going to continue making our way to the fourth dungeon by doing magical dives. This is a secret. We can just come over here and get this chest. Which is fine. I'm not sure where this comes out, though, so, um, something falls. I may have just got myself completely lost. Oh yeah, I did a little bit. Um... You can't take Dimitri up there, can you? Oh hey, but I can get over here now, so that's good. I just need um, need it not to be autumn. If it wasn't autumn, that this would be great. Um, I'll see you guys in a second. God, I am an idiot. I just remembered I had Gale seeds. Ugh. God, that was dumb of me. Sunken City. Get some more gale seeds that I'll just forget in the future. Forget I completely have them. <laughs> but anyway, that's one of the secrets that you can get once you have the Zora slippers. Now we're going to continue over to the um the way that we were supposed to be going last episode, which is to dive in the Master Swimmer's secret patch, which is just over here. Now there are little diving sequences of the game. You can use your sword underwater, which is pretty awesome, but doesn't make sense um, in terms of physics because um, surely you should swipe a sword more slowly underwater, but apparently that's not how it works in Holodrome. Apparently a sword works absolutely fine, whatever the, the um, situation. But as you can see, we've got a couple of waterfalls here and a nice vine that we can climb up. We can't get that just yet, but we will be able to shortly. And over here, we have our new friend called Moosh. <laughs> There's a spring banana tree up there! But until the rock flowers bloom in spring, I can't climb up to it. Can nothing be done? Now that's a bit of a hint. We need to get um, spring unlocked so we can go in there. And the way we do that is, of course, by doing our favourite thing, going to Subrosia. Let's go. Now... Oh, shit! <gasps> What's that? It's so weird. I'll trade you the soul for it. Thanks. Okay. The Zippity took my feather! They took my feather! I've got to go get my feather back. Those little bitches. Give me back my feather. Let's go bury some treasure! Make sure no one sees us. If anyone does, run! Now, what we have here is a mini game based on the first encounter that we had with Rosa on our discovery of Sub Rosia. We have to avoid being seen by these guys, which is pretty cool. It's really easy, it gets a little bit more difficult later on, but it's fine. This one you can kind of get away with hiding up here. As far as I remember. It's like they don't look up here at all. It's kind of silly. Like, they've given me the fool's or Fool's on them! This one's a little bit more difficult. Oops! Ah shit, I fucked up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this one's more difficult. You got instantly caught! <laughs> nice job. Good job on me. Great. So now we can progress down again. But yeah, I like this little mini game. It's kind of cute, but I don't like losing my rock spare for it. It's like my favorite item. <sighs> anyway, it should be fine. We'll get this sword. It won't be a big deal. I love the Sabrosians. The design is so cute. It's really adorable. Okay. Can actually hide behind this. Okay. Okay, now you just have to run all the way around. There we go. Perfect. Now I think here you have to walk down here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Ideal. These must be pretty big rocks. Okay, and up we go. It's not a big deal. 
Uh, I can't remember what you get for digging in that patch. I think you get something extra. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. Oh, I guess it's nothing. <laughs> Stretch back to our stupid ore. Okay, this is the more difficult one. But it's pretty easy as long as you... Um... There we go, perfect. And we head down. That's good, come on. Let's go find more treasure. So they buried our feather, our dirty feather, in here. So we got it back. And we got to return the ore. I don't really want to give them back the ore though. It's dumb. It's uh, it's not even useful ore, it's just fool's ore. Anyway, I'm not giving that stuff back. Nope. Not for me. Right. We are over here. So let's go exploring. We can come down here. Although this area doesn't really have much to do with us right now. It's full of pirates and the pirates are awesome. I will go in there because the song is amazing. It's pretty cool. Useless fools! Get someone find me, Belle? Are you? <laughs> Don't be silly. You ain't an experienced adventurer yet. If you haven't at least proven your adventuring skills by seeing the inside of some ruins, I know geese for you. I've no idea what that accent was. Regardless, we'll come up here quickly, head into this portal because there's a little um, shortcut that we can unlock. Now this you open up and come round. And you're back in Horon Village. Now I do actually need to buy a new shield so I am going to go in here and buy a shield. Because I got it eaten by some like likes and I might need it. <laughs> Stupid like likes. But yes, we'll go back to um, Sabrosia. Because although we have got our dirty feather back, we need to do something else. So away from the skeleton pirates we go. And we will return to them later on because they're fucking awesome. And we will head north, I guess. No, we can't do anything this way yet. That's a little puzzle, but we don't have the requisite items for it yet. Hard ore is said to be the best. Oh, that's a little hint of what you have to do later on. Now let's come over here and head down these stairs. Now if you remember correctly, in the last episode, I tried to go to the spring part of the temple and I actually couldn't get in there because it was blocked off and there was like stairs. Guess where we are? Oh yeah. So we just jump across the rocks feather. And we'll be able to get our spirit of spring absolutely no problem. And here it is. I'm the spirit of spring. Rock hard bubs bloom in spring. It's a season of discovery. To think I can add the power of the hero the triangle symbol, Triforce. And loan you the power of the spr spring. Oh, this is doing a number on my graphics. Jeez. Well, at least you get to see every little individual thing. But now the Rod of Seasons has been blessed with a spring dew. Climb atop a stump to cool forth spring. And we are able to complete that segment with Moosh. But I wonder if there's anything else we can do. I believe there might be. Now, if we come down here, then we get another gash of seed, which is nice. And we can head back towards that um, that teleporter to Hover Drum. Now, I'll just show you what's over here. It's the shortcut to get back to there. Is it? Uh, Pretty much once you've um, completed the fifth dungeon, you, generally you can trans, um, you can travel across the entirety of Subrosia without any huge issues, which is pretty fun. You can use it for shortcuts. So that's when the game kind of ramps up. But for now, we'll just head back to um, that mountain. 
and we will play about with our new spirit. Winter? Spring! And let's change back to Rock's Feather, because I like it there. Okay. Alright, we can actually get through here now. Which is fine. Oh my god. Right, stop the moose. There's a spring banana up there, but until the rock flowers... It's... Yeah, you have to just bring him... The, f the thing. Flying cuckoo. Flaps when held. Otherwise it's dangerous. Now I can't remember if you have to pick it up. There we go. You just have to hammer A until you get to the place that you need to get to. And it will fly for a little tiny bit and it will flop back. So if you come up here you can get the spring banana. There's a little platforming puzzle that you need to complete and not die. Dying during this puzzle is completely not recommended. Although it's something that I'm going to demonstrate multiple times. Keys! Die, Keys. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's the slowdown? What is this? I don't know why I'm getting so much slowdown, this is horrific. Anyway, up here we have the spring bananas. It sure smells sweet! And we can go ahead and give it to Moosh, but first we're going to come in here and complete this short puzzle, which will get us something extra. We're just going to slash wildly so that we get this. I'm going to come to this side, hop off and hit the button, and we get a nice ring. And just come over here. Oh. Okay. Now we're going to come to the left side and zip all the way around and get the ring. Jesus. But yeah, we'll just wait for this to come over. And then we can head down and give the spring banana to Moosh. So let's do that now. Come on. You brought me a spring banana! Is it for me? I happily accept! So tasty! That was great. I'm Moosh. You fed me, so I'll help you. I'll give you a ride anywhere. Jesus Christ, just slow down. Now, Moosh is pretty cool. He can't swim, but he can hover, which is awesome. He can't attack or anything, unlike Dimitri and Ricky. But the flying is pretty awesome. Now, we need him to complete a segment just over here. So we're going to ride him over. We don't need to go there just yet, but we do need to come over here. Okay. Maybe I was lying when I said he couldn't attack. That's his attack. But this is the main segment that we need him for. There's a key over there which we've got to get by floating across these pits with Moosh. So we'll just come over here. Oh, shit. Come on, I've done this, but fuck. Oh my god, why? Why? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? It just seems like it's cancelling it. There we go. There we go. Right, and we got the key. You got the dragon key. And dragon key is what we really needed. Now, having got the dragon key, we don't really need Moosh anymore. <laughs> Which is kind of sad for Moosh, but we shall ride him over here any day, anyways, just so he doesn't feel left out. And... Ooh, nip around, get this. Die. We'll burn these bushes, actually, see if there's a secret in there. I bet there is. Shit. That's not a tree. There we go. Go down here. There's another shaman. Shh, don't tell! Okay, this is one of the ones that actually gives you money. And he's given me loads of money. He gave me like 250 rupees. Wow. That's awesome. 
pretty cool. Okay, switch back to Rock's Feather. And we'll head up here. And this is the Goron Cave. Goron Cave is fucking badass. Oh, there's a little shortcut over here. Which comes out... Over here, I guess? I'm not exactly sure where this is. Oh, it's it's still this. But, um... We're gonna knock into Maple. Oh, she's not giving us anything good. I can't get that. That's no, that's no use to me, Maple. But yeah, Maple shows up when you've killed 30 enemies or so. Big Goron is so big he can't fit in our cave, but it's so cold outside that poor Goron. Welcome to Goron Mountain. It's too cold to go outside, so I'm all out of shape. Aww. Goron Mountain has always had winter year round, but ever since the temple season sank, it's gotten even colder. But you can catch cold just going outside. Do you know the Goron base? All collectors want to have it. Hmm. A non-essential item that's being marked out like that? Sounds like a trading item. I love the Gorons, they're amazing. Big Goron is up above, but he has a cold, so be quiet. Now, he has a cold? Is that something perhaps a nice dose of soup could fix? Perhaps a nice dose of lava soup? Achoo! I am all stuffed up. It's so cold. Do you have anything to that can warm the body up? Oh, that spells good. Can I have it? Yeah, I have the soup. I'm not going to eat it anyway. It's fucking lava. <laughs> it's a harmony of flavours. Thanks to you, I'm all better. I think this is a symbol of my gratitude. You got the Goron vase. As thanks for the soup. It's a very nice vase. Something that Link is more prone to smashing than probably any other item in the game. Now they're all happy because he's um, over his cold, so all the text changes. If I had the Goron Vase, I wouldn't trade it for a hundred fish. Now that might give us some inkling of what we're going to get next. This year is so weird. No matter how long winter is, it's never been this cold. Something is very wrong. You're telling me, bro. You're telling me. Right. Okay, so now we've done that bit of the trading game, we've got the Dragon Key. Which is one of the major items that we need in the game. Holy shit, we've got a lot of gasher seeds. We should do something with that. Um, we'll probably call it here and then try to get to the start of the dungeon in the next episode. So, um, until that happens, um, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.